Welcome ulit sa ating channel mga katulay sa Tagumpay. Ang video ito ay ang additional 31 items para sa Philippine Air Force General Classification Test o PAFGCT Soft Test na Engineering. Ito ay isa pang klase ng exam na dapat mong maipasa para makapag-apply ka sa Philippine Air Force. Kinilagay ko na rin pala dito ang tamang sagot at paliwanag sa dulo ng bawat tanong. Di ko sure kung lalabas ang mga items na ito sa mismong exam, pero reviewin na lang din natin para dagdag kaalaman na rin, at kung sakaling lumabas ay may advantage tayo. Kung di mo pa napapanood ang mga nauna pa nating mga video ay huwag mag-alala dahil nasa taas lang ng video ito ang link para doon. Hali kayo at simula na natin ang pagre-review. 51. Which of the following is not a primary function of the Philippine Air Forces Engineering Department? A. Aircraft Maintenance B. Infrastructure Development C. Human Resource Management D. Weapon Systems Maintenance Correct answer. C. Human Resource Management Explanation. While Human Resource Management is essential for any organization, it is not a primary function of the engineering department within the Philippine Air Force. 52. What is the primary responsibility of the Philippine Air Force's engineering department? A. Ensuring aircraft safety. B. Developing new aircraft technology. C. Training Air Force personnel. D. Repairing military facilities. Correct answer. A. Ensuring aircraft safety. Explanation. The primary responsibility of the engineering department is to ensure the safety and airworthiness of aircraft through maintenance and repair activities. 53. Which type of maintenance involves routine checks and servicing to prevent unexpected failures? A. Corrective maintenance. B. Preventive maintenance. C. Predictive maintenance. D. Reactive maintenance. Correct answer. B. Preventive maintenance. Explanation. Preventive maintenance aims to prevent equipment failure by regularly servicing and inspecting machinery before problems occur. 54. What is the term for the process of disassembling, inspecting, repairing, and reassembling aircraft components? A. Overhaul. B. Retrofitting. C. Calibration. D. Testing. Correct answer. A. Overhaul. Explanation. Overhaul involves a comprehensive examination and restoration of aircraft components to ensure they meet safety and performance standards. 55. Which division of the Philippine Air Force's engineering department is responsible for the maintenance of airframe structures? A. Avionics Division. B. Propulsion Division. C. Structural Maintenance Division. D. Systems Division. Correct answer. C. Structural Maintenance Division. Explanation. The Structural Maintenance Division handles the maintenance and repair of airframe structures to ensure the structural integrity of aircraft. 56. What is the purpose of non-destructive testing NDT, in aircraft maintenance? A. To repair damaged components. B. To detect defects without causing damage. C. To conduct routine inspections. D. To improve aircraft performance. Correct answer. B. To detect defects without causing damage. Explanation. Non-destructive testing methods are used to identify defects in aircraft components without causing any damage to them. 57. Which aircraft component is primarily responsible for generating thrust? A. Fuselage. B. Wings. C. Engine. D. Tail assembly. Correct answer. C. Engine. Explanation. The engine generates thrust, which propels the aircraft forward. 58. What is the purpose of a hydraulic system in an aircraft? A. To control the aircraft's pitch and roll. B. To provide power for electrical systems. C. To assist in landing gear deployment. D. To maintain pressurization in the cabin. Correct answer. C. To assist in landing gear deployment. Explanation. Hydraulic systems in aircraft are used to operate various components, including landing gear, flaps, and brakes. 59. Which of the following is not a type of aircraft engine used by the Philippine Air Force? A. Turbojet. B. Turboprop. C. Piston. D. Rocket. Correct answer. D. Rocket. Explanation. Rocket engines are not typically used in conventional military aircraft. 60. What type of fuel is commonly used in military aircraft? A. Diesel. B. Kerosene. C. Gasoline. D. Propane. Correct answer. 
B. Kerosene. Explanation. Military aircraft commonly use aviation turbine fuel, which is a type of kerosene. 61. Which agency is responsible for setting safety standards for aviation in the Philippines? A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. B. Philippine Air Force PAF. C. Department of Transportation DOTR. D. Philippine Aerospace Development Corporation PADC. Correct answer. A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. Explanation. CAAP is the regulatory body responsible for ensuring aviation safety in the Philippines. 62. What is the purpose of an aircraft's landing gear? A. To stabilize the aircraft during flight. B. To provide lift during takeoff. C. To support the aircraft on the ground. D. To control the aircraft's direction. Correct answer. C. To support the aircraft on the ground. Explanation. Landing gear allows the aircraft to take off, land, and taxi safely on the ground. 63. What is the primary function of the avionics division within the Philippine Air Force's engineering department? A. Engine maintenance. B. Electrical systems maintenance. C. Airframe repair. D. Flight control systems maintenance. Correct answer. D. Flight control systems maintenance. Explanation. The avionics division focuses on the maintenance and repair of aircraft electronics and flight control systems. 64. What does the term, MTBF, stand for in aircraft maintenance? A. Mean time between flights. B. Maximum time before failure. C. Mean time between failures. D. Minimum time between fixes. Correct answer. C. Mean time between failures. Explanation. MTBF is a measure of the average time between failures of a system or component. 65. What is the purpose of an aircraft's flight control surfaces? A. To generate lift. B. To provide stability and control. C. To house the cockpit instruments. D. To store fuel. Correct answer. B. To provide stability and control. Explanation. Flight control surfaces, such as ailerons and elevators, are used to control the aircraft's attitude and movements in flight. 66. Which division of the Philippine Air Force's engineering department is responsible for the maintenance of aircraft engines? A. Avionics Division. B. Propulsion Division. C. Structural Maintenance Division. D. Systems Division. Correct answer. B. Propulsion Division. Explanation. The propulsion division handles the maintenance and repair of aircraft engines to ensure they operate efficiently and reliably. 67. What is the primary purpose of the aircraft's fuselage? A. To house the cockpit and passengers. B. To generate lift. C. To store fuel. D. To provide stability during flight. Correct answer. A. To house the cockpit and passengers. Explanation. The fuselage is the main body of the aircraft housing the cockpit, passengers, and cargo. 68. Which type of maintenance is performed in response to a specific failure or malfunction? A. Corrective maintenance. B. Preventive maintenance. C. Predictive maintenance. D. Routine maintenance. Correct answer. A. Corrective maintenance. Explanation. Corrective maintenance involves repairing equipment after a failure has occurred. 69. What is the purpose of an aircraft's stabilizers? A. To control the aircraft's pitch and roll. B. To generate lift. C. To provide structural support. D. To store cargo. Correct answer. A. To control the aircraft's pitch and roll. Explanation. Stabilizers, such as the horizontal stabilizer and vertical stabilizer, help maintain the aircraft's stability and control its pitch and roll movements. 70. Which agency is responsible for the procurement of aircraft and equipment for the Philippine Air Force? A. Department of National Defense DND. B. Philippine Air Force PAF. C. Office of the President. D. Department of Budget and Management DBM. Correct answer. A. Department of National Defense DND. Explanation. The DND oversees the procurement process for military equipment, including aircraft, on behalf of the Philippine Air Force. 71. 
What is the primary purpose of the Philippine Air Force's Engineering Department? A. To design new aircraft. B. To maintain and repair aircraft and equipment. C. To train Air Force personnel. D. To conduct research and development. Correct answer. B. To maintain and repair aircraft and equipment. Explanation. The primary role of the engineering department is to ensure the airworthiness of aircraft through maintenance and repair activities. 72. Which of the following is not a component of an aircraft's propulsion system? A. Engine. B. Propeller. C. Fuel tank. D. Exhaust system. Correct answer. C. Fuel tank. Explanation. While the fuel tank is essential for storing fuel, it is not considered part of the propulsion system. 73. What is the purpose of the aircraft's avionics systems? A. To control the aircraft's engines. B. To provide navigation and communication capabilities. C. To maintain cabin pressurization. D. To monitor flight controls. Correct answer. B. To provide navigation and communication capabilities. Explanation. Avionics systems include instruments and electronics used for navigation, communication, and other aircraft functions. 74. Which division of the Philippine Air Force's engineering department is responsible for the maintenance of electrical systems? A. Avionics Division. B. Propulsion Division. C. Structural Maintenance Division. D. Systems Division. Correct answer. A. Avionics Division. Explanation. The Avionics Division handles the maintenance and repair of aircraft electronics, including electrical systems. 75. What is the primary function of the Systems Division within the Philippine Air Force's Engineering Department? A. Aircraft Maintenance. B. Infrastructure Development. C. Human Resource Management. D. Weapon Systems Maintenance. Correct answer. D. Weapon Systems Maintenance. Explanation. The Systems Division focuses on the maintenance and repair of aircraft weapon systems and related equipment. 76. Which aircraft component is primarily responsible for generating lift? A. Fuselage. B. Wings. C. Engine. D. Tail assembly. Correct answer. B. Wings. Explanation. Wings generate lift, allowing the aircraft to become airborne. 77. What is the purpose of an aircraft's fuel system? A. To generate power for electrical systems. B. To control the aircraft's direction. C. To provide fuel to the engines. D. To pressurize the cabin. Correct answer. C. To provide fuel to the engines. Explanation. The fuel system stores and delivers fuel to the aircraft's engines for propulsion. 78. What type of maintenance involves using historical data and condition monitoring to anticipate failures? A. Corrective maintenance. B. Preventive maintenance. C. Predictive maintenance. D. Routine maintenance. Correct answer. C. Predictive maintenance. Explanation. Predictive maintenance predicts equipment failures based on historical data and real-time condition monitoring. 79. Which agency is responsible for overseeing military aviation operations in the Philippines? A. Civil Aviation Authority of the Philippines CAAP. B. Department of National Defense DND. C. Philippine Air Force PAF. D. Office of the President. Correct answer. C. Philippine Air Force PAF. Explanation. The Philippine Air Force is responsible for military aviation operations and defense. 80. Which division of the Philippine Air Force's engineering department is responsible for the maintenance of aircraft avionics systems? A. Avionics Division. B. Propulsion Division. C. Structural Maintenance Division. D. Systems Division. Correct answer. A. Avionics Division. Explanation. The avionics division focuses on the maintenance and repair of aircraft electronics, including avionics systems. 81. What does the term, MTTR, stand for in aircraft maintenance? A. Mean time between replacements. B. Maximum time to repair. C. Mean time to restore. D. Minimum time to recover. Correct answer. C. Mean time to restore. Explanation. MTTR measures the average time required to restore a failed system or component to normal operation. 
Maraming salamat sa inyong panunood mga katulay sa tagumpay. Huwag kalimutang mag-like, mag-share at mag-subscribe sa ating channel para lagi kayong updated sa mga susunod pa nating mga video. Sana ay may natutunan kayo at nakatulong ang video na ito sa inyo. Good luck at maraming salamat ulit mga katulay sa tagumpay.